Minecraft Education Edition, take one. Jefferson County Public Schools is the largest school district in the state of Kentucky. We have almost 100,000 students and 156 schools and over 130 home languages. Minecraft Education Edition allows students to demonstrate several of the skills that we really value. They learn how to build, they learn how to collaborate, and they learn to be respectful in each other's worlds. It's game-based, it's fun. Students don't even feel like they're learning. It didn't really feel like work. It felt like I was like just doing it for fun in a way. We are just bringing the hype train through and through when it comes to all things Minecraft Education Edition and our teachers are, are driving that train. I brought Minecraft in this year because of remote learning. It was something that kept the students engaged. It was part of our curriculum. It was part of the standards. They want to build, they want to design. And you you could hear a pin drop when they're in there and they're working, especially when they're in each other's worlds. And then they talk about that and collaborate. And I would use it for everything. They want to complete those activities. They want to show what they know and what they've learned. Hi, today we are going to be building a rainbow house in Minecraft. It is all engagement. Student engagement is through the roof. In JCPS, we have a very large population of students who are free and reduced lunch. Um, we have a very large population of students who are homeless. And so we, as a district, um, wanted to make sure to provide equitable opportunities for all students. During remote learning, I think the district really uh, honed in on the fact that you know equity and equity in technology was a, a huge component to the success of students. So they launched a huge initiative to roll out the Chromebooks to students and suddenly it kind of just created an equitable technology solution. Once we saw that Minecraft education was available on the Chromebooks, we couldn't contain our excitement. We are so excited because it is such an amazing tool to really get students engaged in learning and they want to use it for everything. We have ideas for math, elementary, middle and high school. We have ideas for language arts, social studies. We've got business education teachers using it. Art classes have used it, music classes have used it. I'm seeing students display leadership skills that they have not displayed before. The ones that are quiet or reserved, when it comes to Minecraft, you see a whole different person that comes forward and they're very involved. Minecraft makes math so much fun. In a distance learning environment, kids don't have opportunities to interact with peers. Students were starting to feel very isolated. I like building and meeting Tabor on it because we don't usually get to meet each other. Yeah, I like being more social. For example, in Minecraft, we could talk to each other more quickly and it, it just feel more like school. So they're using the math, they're using the science, um, but they're also using those social and emotional components and those soft skills for their future. So my advice to any district who's considering embracing Minecraft Education Edition is go for it. Don't be afraid. People think that it's just a video game. It is an awesome opportunity for kids to demonstrate what they know in a way that they love. The best part about being an educator is seeing those aha moments when you know that what you're doing works and is making a difference. We believe that if it's something that is best for kids, we will get to yes. We'll find a way to make it happen and anything is possible.